So here we are today, down the heart again, for the first time in a few months I should say, more like six or seven months actually. Um, it's the middle of winter right now so there's absolutely no uh, leaves on the trees, the sun only stays up for like nine hours, um, I could go on. And everything here looks completely different, uh, here's the hut, it's still looking pretty good. Not too bad, if I must say so myself. Uh, the structure's still up, so it hasn't been uh, destroyed or anything, which is good. But then the surrounding area is just absolutely barren. So much different compared to what it looked like when I first started here in the summer. So it's the 11th of July, I believe, today. So just about the middle of winter here in New Zealand. And, um, Part of the reason why I don't come down here is because of the coldness and the rain and everything. But today it's been a beautiful day, uh, so I thought I might as well come down and give it a shot again, see what I can do. So I had plans to do a furnace um, to make the roof with tiles and stuff. Um, still might go ahead with that, I'll just need to use some mud and stuff to build the furnace. At the moment what I think I need to do the most is the roof and I've been holding off on doing that for the last I don't know how long just because of the fact that it took so long to make the rope and I just didn't really want to be doing the rope because it was just really hard. Um, so what I ended up doing was buying some rope from a shop, it's just some twine sort of stuff so it's actually made out of natural sort of materials like grasses and stuff, it's just that I bought it from a shop, so no biggie, just save some time, save some energy, and uh, with that rope I should be able to tie on some sticks to make the roof of the hut here, and um, what I need to do then today I guess is cut down a couple more trees that are really straight, and cut up the branches and then tie them onto the roof. So I think I might go do that first. I might clear the site up a bit because it's looking a bit overgrown. So yeah, let's get a start on that. Alright, so you just saw me clearing the site here again. I just piled it all up over there. And uh, basically, I just had to pull out the root systems for everything, and um, now it's not looking too bad. There's still quite a lot of stuff here, but I can't be bothered getting that out. It doesn't really matter anyway. So, what I'll get doing now is uh, getting these logs up onto the side of the roof and just tie them on. And um, if you can see her here, just on this branch. This is the piece of rope that I tried making out of flax, um, like a high quality piece of rope out of just the flax fibres, and I made that quite a while ago, way back in one of my last videos, uh, where, when I was at the hut. And it's just been sitting here, it actually fell onto the ground, and so it's been sitting on the ground for ages. So here it is, and if I just pull it a little bit of force, it'll break. And now this actually happens the same to the rope that I used, uh, that I made out of flax and used for my old hut. Uh, that was the rope where it was just made out of the actual flax itself, not the, just the fibre. Whereas this is just the fibre. So you can see that over time weathering, it'll just completely um, 
disintegrate basically. Um, compare that to another piece of rope that I made in the same time as that. This is actually exactly the same and it's on the end of my um, saw here so this has always been inside and that's the same bit of rope and this has still got its full strength it's just that it hasn't been out in the weather and it's still really strong and the rope that I've got here it's just this stuff right here it actually says on it that it is resistant to sunlight and weathering I'm not sure for how long but that should be pretty good for what I need it for anyway so I'll make a start on uh, getting that up so I've just propped up those two pieces on the hut there and they are quite long so I'm going to cut off the ends of them the really thick heavy ends so that it's sort of shorter and a little bit lighter for the roof to handle Alright, so I've got it up now, I just need to tie it on, it's um, looking pretty good, I just had to cut off the ends and make it a bit more symmetrical, make sure they're the same length and the same height up there, so uh, I'll show you how I got them lined up, that one is lined up over this uh, joint head right there, and then it just lines up over that joint again right there, and I just had to take off a bit of the bark that was up there as well, just so that uh, the joint wouldn't loosen as the bark would come off over time. Uh, this side should be fine, there's not much there. And then this one's just lined up a little bit to the left of the joint there. Same with up there. Right, I'm just going to uh, tie it up and then I'll test how strong it is and uh, that should be that. Alright, so there's those two done. Not too bad. Uh, they're quite tight. Should be pretty good. Um, now I'm just going to do this top one. So what I've done is um, basically unraveling this and then getting, I think, something like three meters worth, but it's just over two arm lengths full. That should be enough for the top one there and I have just a little bit left over um, might be able to use for next time I need to sharpen my knife but then I just cut it off like that and then tie it off as well so that the fraying end like that doesn't come apart now I'm just gonna um, start up. I'm not sure how to do this actually. All of these knots are just a bit touch and go. Um, I'll wrap it around this one.
That'll do. Right. How does that look? Pretty nice. Pretty sturdy actually. That one's not too bad. Here's just a close up. A little bit messy, but um, it'll hold. It's good. So now, or should I say next time, um, you do exactly the same on this side. Won't be too hard. Hardest part would be finding some more trees to cut down. Um, some more straight, pretty thick branches like these. And I'll need to buy some more rope, but that's all good. It's pretty cheap. And then I'll put it over there. Um, other things that I'm planning to do with the hut, so if I've got the cross oh, the roof beams up like that, um, I'm going to have the door about right there, the um, entrance sort of thing. Um, on the other side I will have a crossbar, it'll be about three meters long probably, so it'll go from the top of here. Um, past this probably on the outside of this one and then um, be tied onto here as well and I'll probably tie that on at the same time as the roof um, beams like those ones just to save on a bit of rope and tie them together so that'll be pretty good and then after that I think I'll get another roof um, top beam like that um, and that'll sit sort of on top of the cross, the V shape at the top of that one and also the one that, that'll be on that side and then I'll um, I'll need to buy tons more rope and I'll just keep putting more cross beams like here and here and here and so on um, so they'll go the length of the roof to the other side so I'm gonna have to find a lot more trees that are really long and straight um, to get the branches and wood that I need. So yeah, pretty good day so far. That's, that's this progress.